Today we're going to be speaking about isolated network virtualization. This is a very important feature in Oracle Cloud. The benefits are both on the security side and on the performance side. You have to remember that during all those years in the past, public cloud thought that the hypervisor was not hackable. And they made the design of their infrastructure with this in mind. The hypervisor cannot be hacked because it's inside the compute power. But then came up a vulnerability and meltdown and specter that shown that the compute and the CPU can actually be hacked. And from one VM, you can actually access the data of other VMs, assuming that you can trust the hypervisor actually a wrong assumption. We discovered at that time. So when Oracle decided to enter the cloud market, they took this into account. And Oracle Cloud Design is made in such a way that we isolated the server function of the hypervisor and we separated the network functionality outside of the hypervisor. By decoupling those two functionality, we are then able to not trust anymore the hypervisor for network functionality. If the hypervisor is compromised, it cannot access the other or the rest of the network of our public cloud. What we did is with specific hardware and specifically designed for that purpose, we implemented the functionality of networking outside of the bare metal that is dedicated to host the tenant. By doing this, not only are we providing a more secure uh, infrastructure and a more secure design to our customers, but we are as well able to propose more computing power because the hypervisor is not anymore in charge of the networking functionalities. All the compute power is available for our tenants. So whether you are uh, a customer on a VM, on a bare metal, or whether you are a customer for the whole bare metal, when you contract Oracle Cloud, you know exactly the performance that you're going to get because the performance is the full performance of the server. The network functionality is deported. The other benefit is that you get access to the full network functionalities, which is allowing us to give extremely fast performance. Two benefits. Security on one side, we assume that the hypervisor can be compromised, and that's why we isolated the network virtualization, which is avoiding possible lateral move. Second benefit, full performance and predictable performance. You are not impacted by a noisy neighbor. If suddenly you have a neighbor that is requiring a huge network requirement because he has suddenly a surge in traffic, it will not impact your performance because this is completely separated. And on another aspect, as you can see on the slide, in generation one cloud, when one VM was getting compromised, this vulnerability could spill over other bare metal within the infrastructure. Now, with generation two cloud, when one VM is compromised, actually within that bare metal, within that same hypervisor, indeed, the vulnerability can spill over, but outside of the hypervisor, there are no lateral moves possible. And this is at the foundation of our commitment for more secure and more performant cloud for our enterprise customers.